Um, I, I always say, I think in our field, there has been this, in my opinion, misconception or old style conception of thinking that the people that like business uh, do not uh, like design. And conversely, those who like design do not like business in a way, uh, or that it is uh, quite impossible in a way to be uh, good at business and good at design. Whereas I think that if you look at the story of uh, the greatest architects, at least in the last, uh, you know, in the, in the last century, uh, without, with some exceptions, but, and, and also the great designers, by the way, they all uh, more or less, but all of them have had at least the nose for business. Uh, if not, uh, they have mastered business in very different ways, uh, regardless of whether or not they were uh, surrounded by, by business savvy people. In my opinion, also, I think uh, design is, if you want the sort of philosophy of our time uh, as well, or philosophy of the physical world, uh, nowadays also of the digital world, uh, that, that turns ideas, reflections, deep reflections into tangible uh, tangible realities, uh, whether they are, uh, you know, in the digital world of, you know, experiences or in the physical, you know, brick and mortar, uh, uh, you know, real built environment we live in. And um, as, as a result of that, in a way, as a, as a designer, I feel, I felt from the very beginning or, well, from when I was in university, and I still believe uh, one of my guidances and, and one of the guidances of uh, people that I could, you know, uh, in a way mentor, if, if that's a word uh, uh, I could use, um, is to have a, a sort of sense of, um, of impact and, and reason for what you do and uh, being positive for, for the field in which you act. And I think uh, there are some activities uh, in every field that are more in tune with their time than others, in a way. And there are other activities that are more in tune or more needed in time in certain moments of time than, than others, right? Um, and I think business, I, I came to business because I felt that, or I, I, I turned my attention to business because I felt that somehow there was an over, uh, over dimensioned response uh, and discourse on some aspects of design although it's never enough speaking about design, especially if you like it, but in our field, there was a, a sort of overdimensional attention to that and, and so little has been said, done, and, and uh, contributed to from the perspective of business and how business contributes to, to the world of, of architecture, to the built environment and to making better cities, better, you know, better, better life for everyone. Um, so I said, you know, if I wanna be a good designer, it's not only about having a pencil in my hand or you know a cat uh, computer program and doing the greatest uh, shapes and, and greatest uh, ideas and proposals uh, from the spatial point of view, but it is also about understanding how uh, what is the architect of today uh, needing to develop as a as a profile and what you know what is the architect of the next ten years and how can I humbly contribute to that? And my answer was it's not either business or design, it is business for design or business in the favor of design. So let's try to work on this where, you know, think people haven't been looking at it that much. So I can be of uh, great help, I think. And, and that doesn't mean I, I don't like design. I love design. 